Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from day two of the Singapore FinTech Festival and helping me kick off coverage for our next day. We have Gilbert Chua. He is the head of mobile financial services at Singtel International Group. And we're going to take a look at combining all the regions within APAC and completing a ecosystem for mobile financial services, payments, and cross-border payments. Gilbert, thanks so much for joining us. And ASEAN, it's an incredibly diverse region, different levels of economic development and technology integration. Um, the infrastructure varies greatly. Tell us what you're doing at Singtel and trying to bring that together under one ecosystem. Yeah, so thank you for having you're me. Welcome. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to know that uh, in just Asia Pacific alone, um, by 2025, it's estimated that uh, there will be around the gross transaction value is almost 114 billion US dollar, right? And by 2025, 63% of the population in Asia Pacific, roughly equivalent to 2.7 billion people, are accessing the internet using their mobile phones. And it's also not surprising that in many, 50% um, of mobile phone users are using their mobile phone to make payment. So the potential is tremendous, right? And in Singtel, we really see the potential in this, but however, the, you can see that the payments market is very fragmented. So there are many players out there with different methods of payment, um, and unfortunately, they are all not interoperable, right. right? And that's why we see the opportunity. Now, if you look at um, last year, we actually launched Via and Inter. Uh, it's actually a cross-border platform, and. The reason why we have done so is because of three facts. One is that uh, because of the rise in mobile phone uh, penetration, mobile payments penetration, and also the, the surge in uh, intra-region travel, right? And with that, uh, we launched VIA. And, and for VIA, it, um, it, 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 it is not a wallet, right? It is actually an alliance of wallet. So think of it as a star alliance of wallet, where the benefits to the customer is that uh, it is convenient, it is uh, seamless, and it's also transparent. So to the customer, when they, when they say go to Thailand um, uh, to make payment, right, they, they don't have to download another wallet because Vivia is not a wallet. They can just use their home wallet, that's why it's very seamless, right, the interface is the same. And because Vivia has got very competitive uh, interest uh, uh, forex, um, which is which means that they don't really have to, to, to change a lot of money right, when, they, when they travel. And finally, it's very transparent. So when you make a payment, you can actually see the currency of both uh, the foreign currency as well as the local currency at the point of purchase. What does it mean for the person that uses it, greater regional integration? Does that help in terms of labor movement, um, helping for banking be unbanked? What does it mean for the average individual that uses these platforms? Right. So, well, I think in, in for for Singtel, um, we are Singtel is not just Singapore and it's not just Telco. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we operate in many kind of, uh, <coughs> sorry, we operate in many markets and in many uh, businesses as well, right? And together with our associates, uh, we have close to six hundred ninety million uh, subscribers. Wow! Yeah, and. Right, and interestingly, right, uh, for all this, um, for all these partner associates that we have, they all have their own wallet. And the idea here is to actually link the wallets together. Now, for customers who do not have uh, a bank account, um, the ability to use a wallet when they travel overseas uh, is going to be um, is, is, is going to be uh, uh, convenient for them. Right. Well, it's also good for the economy too because it allows people to, to spend yeah. freely. All right, my last question to you is achieving a unified payments ecosystem. Mm. Can that be a reality? Mm. Well, I can say that uh, it is extremely difficult, but I think it is definitely possible. And I think with the launch of VIA last year, we have made a major stride in providing this service uh, for the region, right? And as we speak, we can see many of the countries in Southeast Asia has already started adopting a standard EMV co in QR code payment. And that's important, standardization is important. And secondly, um, it is also important for us to have meaningful relationships, right? And over the last one year, we have actually uh, launched our very first uh, corridor between Singapore and Thailand through our regional associate AIS. 
and we have also announced our partnership with Asiata Group. So Boost is actually the largest wallet in Malaysia and that is also uh, going to be in our network. And even more recently, we have um, onboarded um, OCBC Pay Anyone yep. Singapore and also K-Bank, uh, K-Plus Wallet uh, into the VR Alliance. So having this, um, uh, having this partnership is very important to us and as we continue to move in this journey, we'll be looking at uh, more and more partners joining to the fray. Whether you're telco, you're non-telco, we welcome them into the VR Alliance. All right, Gilbert, thanks so much for joining us at the FinTech Festival. Thank you. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malatrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.